What's up, guys? This is the Legion Castaic again. We are back in Hyrule playing The Legend of Zelda, the very first one. As you can see, I haven't actually gotten any more done, and we still have that sword glitch. I have yet to be able to figure that out, but we're going to be taking care of that today. We're going to be doing some preparation today. We're not going to directly take on the first boss. If we manage to get everything that we need in the time that I have, then we will definitely. But for right now, we're going to be going, we're going to be killing some enemies, getting some more rupees. If we don't find some bombs, we're going to go buy some. Ow. And while I do all this grindy stuff, I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about my channel. Now, I've got some plans for it, and I know this is the only the second video that I've uploaded. Uh, I do plan on uploading regularly. Starting this week, I'm going to be doing, hopefully, daily uploads. I'm going to try and do several different games. Uh, I want to do Zelda on... Mondays, on Tuesdays, we're going to be doing Pokemon, and we're going to be doing it in order, just like the Zelda games. Uh, although, I don't know at the current moment which games I'm going to be playing. Now, I've had some suggestions on this. I've had people tell me, play the remakes, play the originals. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll probably do the remakes because they're better graphics. They play a little better on emulators. And I do all of my stuff on emulators. So that'll help me out a lot if I just do it that way. Now, our goal today is to get several different items. We need to increase Link's health, obviously. We need to get... We can get the first sword, and that's going to be very important because then we can legitimately use the sword beam. <laughs> uh, and we're going to be getting a couple of other items. We need some bombs. We need... what else do we need? We're going to be getting some... the blue candle. That's going to be important for getting some of these hearts. At least from what I've been able to tell. I do have a guide up on my other screen. I'm only going to be using that for this preparation stage just so I can find all the little, the little hidden secrets. But what else? Yes, okay, so we got Monday and Tuesday, and on Wednesdays I'm going to be playing probably the only, at least semi-3D game that plays on my computer right now. It's called Duke Nukem 3D. Now, a lot of Programmers will know this game. It came out in the 90s. It is another one of my favorite games. Ow. Ow. Jeez, these guys wrecking. There we go. Okay. Die, die, die. There's a heart. Duke Nukem. Very first 3D Duke Nukem game that came out. Duke Nukem was originally a side-scroller. They finally released it on PC as a 3D game, and it's continued on from there as a pretty successful FPS series. Uh, they came out with Duke Nukem Forever for the Xbox 360, I believe also the PlayStation 2. No, I'm sorry, PlayStation 3. My bad. That's my bad. Uh, we don't have bombs here. We need bombs. And we are eventually going to be getting that shield. Because we do need a shield upgrade, and if we get that, I do believe we can box the, block the first boss's fireballs. Which will be pretty cool. That'll be really nice to use. Now, as for other games, I don't know what else I'm going to be doing. Tuesdays and Fridays, I still have open. If you guys have any suggestions for older games, or games that might run on older systems, please do let me know. I will play them. <laughs> I am very interested in playing any kind of game that I can get my hands on. You know, just to keep things fresh, keep things original. I'm sure people will probably get rather tired of the same thing over and over. Ow, that one hurt. How did he hit me? He's supposed to block that shield. That one was my fault. But yeah, just send me some suggestions. Let me know what you guys think. I am always willing to listen. But yeah, for right now, I'm trying to get some rupees. Not 
doing too great at it. I can't get that one down. That's okay, we got five instead. And I do believe we have enough to buy some bombs. I wanted to try to avoid buying bombs because you kind of kind of need the rupees for that shield. But... Eh, I'll take it. And we can't get you. So let's just keep going. Those time stop things are pretty cool. I wonder when they implemented those. Ow. And die. Okay. And I'm down to one heart again. That's okay. I don't mind if I die right now. Because right now we're just gathering some rupees. We're doing our preparation stuff. Yes, we would like to continue. We have 86 rupees so far. We're going to be going and seeing if we can buy the bombs. And then once we have them, the bombs are going to be very important in opening up a bunch of secret areas. I've been hoping these mobs would drop some because I've also been killing them for that reason. So far, no luck. So far, no luck. Ooh, time stop. We can get all three of them in one go. You're dead, you're dead, and you're dead. No bombs. Okay, that's fine. I know where there's a shop. The guide is showing me where there is one. Ooh, five rupees. Okay, we're up at the 94. Might be able to buy two stacks of bombs. We come over here. Over here. There was a secret in that area, by the way. We're going to be going back there in a little bit. We gotta get the bombs first. Bombs first. Bombs first. These guys are a little tougher. They require two hits to kill. Hey, some bombs! Sweet! Time stop. Okay, so why don't we go get that first heart piece real quick, since we no longer need to really worry about... Ow. Getting some bombs from the store. We can save our rupees for a little while. Their secret is right here. There we go. There's the music. There's the hidden. And we get to choose what we want. We can either get a potion or we can get a heart piece. Guys, go for the heart piece. You need the health. First boss is a doozy. Alright, so here we go. Keep on going. Keep on going. Let me... Not die. And give me a second here. I'm just scrolling my little thing down a little bit. Okay, so... Okay, so we actually need to go back. I went the wrong way, guys. I'm sorry. I do that. We need to go this way. And we need to go five screens. So one, two... We need to stay on the right-hand side. Three. We need this path right here. Four. And five. Okay, so then I believe we go this way. And yes, yes, this is what we want right here. Okay, so Rupee. Let's get rid of these guys, because otherwise it's going to really just tear us apart. There's a hidden secret right in this area, so... Get that, get that. Now we got three hearts. That's nice. Right here. Nice the bomb. There's another hole. Go on in. Hey, look! It's the old man again. And he's giving us another heart container. Look at that. We got five heart containers already, and we're not even ten minutes into the episode, guys. That is awesome. Now, my episodes are probably going to remain around 20 minutes or so. I might go to 30 if I'm getting really into the game. Let's actually pause this so I can figure out where to go next. Uh, sorry for the silence. I'm reading. Third heart container requires the aid of, of an additional item, a blue candle. So we got to go find a shop. So let's work our way back. We need to go back towards the beginning area, because there's a shop right over there. I know where the shop is there. But as I was saying, I'm going to try to keep my videos around 20 minutes, unless we really get the ball rolling with this, and we manage to get all the stuff we need. If we have, like, 15 minutes, I'll, I'll go into the first dungeon, and we'll have some fun. Yeah. No some fun. We'll kill the first boss, because the first boss is kind of easy. Once you get all the upgrade stuff. Now, the upgrade stuff we might not completely get into this episode. 
Don't worry, I'm not gonna go and get the rest of it without you, I promise. Give me the heart. Ow. And he just took away the rest of that heart. <laughs> See, I'm doing a lot of derping around. I'm getting all these hearts, and yet I'm losing them all really quickly. That's how bad we need this stuff, dude. Guys, come on. Dude, that, that hurt. Don't throw fireballs at me. And that, by the way, I called that a Zora last time. It's actually a Zola. I'm learning my... My terminology. Ow. Okay, that was my fault. And he didn't give me a heart. That's fine. We gotta go back this way. And then down is the way to the starting area. You die. You die. Ah, I missed. Him. Okay. Oh, that got him. Okay. You die. No heart. Okay, We're, that's fine. We have two and a half hearts out of a full five. And we got some more easy enemies, even though I've already run into one. Lovely. <laughs> Okay, you're quick. I'm gonna have a hard time hitting you. Or not. That was easy. Ow. Ran right- ran into him again. Jeez. I'm not doing very well, am I, guys? Okay, so we have 101 rupees. We need that candle right there. Alright, so let's- let's grab the candle. Okay, so we have 40 rupees left. We're down to one heart. We might- we might end up just going ahead and killing ourselves at this point. I am going to take a moment to read my thingy here. There's a cave here that sells the blue candle. Already got it. Head east one screen from the starting location. Okay, so we gotta go back to the start. That's fine. We got some more tektites here. We're probably gonna die, which will make it even easier to get back to the starting screen. I hate tektites, guys. These are tektites. They are nasty enemies. And here's the starting screen. Okay, so we gotta go... Head east from the starting location, then north... Until you arrive... A small body of water in the upper left corner. Follow the coastline. Let me get rid of these guys so that we can try and get another heart. No. Avoid the rock. And no. Okay. Uh, let's go this side. Go north. I guess we follow the coastline to the right. Or we just... Ow. Okay. I'm dead again. Not a good start, guys. I'm sorry. We might go 25 minutes, 30 minutes on this. Just because I'm doing so poorly and staying alive. I'll do it for you guys. Okay, so east one screen. We don't need the rupees or anything right now. We have the blue candle. Actually, let's equip that. Okay. Okay, north again. Then north again. And we're being surrounded. Surrounded. Oh, I see. When we die, we only keep three hearts. That's interesting. I gotta remember that. This means we actually do need some hearts. And we're starting to need them badly. <laughs> okay, so we just... Supposedly we just keep following... Hey, there's a heart. We're already down the half a heart, jeez. I do... Ow, okay. I did that wrong. Okay, I went the wrong way, guys. I just read the guide. I went the wrong way. <laughs> we weren't supposed to go north following the coastline. We were supposed to go west following the coastline. Uh, let's go ahead and kill these guys. Hey, look at that. A hurt. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow. Okay. Okay, so we got half a heart out of the whole, this whole little endeavor right here. Okay, so we got to go this way until we find body of water, which I do believe is the next screen. You die. You die. No heart. Okay. Speedy guy died. And you died. And we got a rupee out of it. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, here's the water. So we gotta go this way. I believe it's this screen. And I believe it's right here. Yep, right there, guys. Look at that! We got our sixth heart container. Awesome!
Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to try to find the white sword. That's the very first sword upgrade that you can get. And it will allow us to use that that beam that we've been having. Okay, so you need to fall and arrive up to speed after obtaining second heart container. Travel up a north narrow blue path okay so we got to get back to the beginning we got to follow the path ah oh there was a fairy there <laughs> i left the screen too quick okay so let's go down okay i think this is the right spot hey heart no heart Uh, let me just check. Uh, I think this is wrong. Hang on. Here we go down. And then to the right. Yes! Okay, here we go. This is the right spot. Awesome! We're up to full health. Okay, and we're getting a lot of rupees out of it. We're gonna need those rupees for that shield. Oh, that sucks. That's a five rupee piece right there. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Now, what we're looking for right now is that little pathway, little blue pathway, just to the north of where we found that second heart piece. Remember where we bombed that little rock island in the middle of the screen? Yeah, we're going over there. There is a blue walkway, they call it. I call it a staircase. We gotta follow that up, and then we need to avoid lines of, ow, avoid enemies. Right here, we gotta follow this up. <laughs> you guys are quick. Eh, I still win. Okay, we gotta go up. Um... Knowing the statues had immediately left. And cross over one more screen. Don't. Those statues on the other screen, don't touch them. They will come alive. Okay, and then we go this way. I'm gonna follow that waterfall. Ah, there. See that thing there? Ah! Oh no! You're a new enemy. You're called a Lionel. Oh, and he gave us a heart. That's cool. Careful of those guys, they shoot sword beams. Hey, look at this! We got the white sword! Now, we are running a little tight on time, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and extend the time to about 25 minutes. I think that'll be okay. We're not doing an intro today, so it should be alright. Ah! Zola! Alright, I'm gonna pause it for a second so that I can find an optional task. The magical shield. Okay, we need 130 rupees. We can get it for cheaper, for 90 rupees. Okay, so... 90 rupees. That's gonna be a little difficult. Let's go and find a secret rupee cache. We need to get back to the starting area. I might go ahead and just let myself die. Or not. This sword is strong. It's also pretty quick. Ow. I gotta be careful n not to lose all my... Hey, cool. Thank you. Awesome. Alright. Now we legitimately have that sword beam. We can easily just wail on all the enemies. We need keep going down, keep going down. I hope I'm going the right way. I think I'm screwing myself up here. That doesn't look like I'm going anywhere on the map, so let's go this way. I think I messed myself up, guys. I might have to die. Yep, look. I just keep coming back to the same spot. 
This is another derping episode. I think I'm lost. <laughs> this is like the lost woods in Ocarina of Time. Okay, so we're back here. Avoid the fireball. I guess we're gonna go this way. Oh no, boulders! Run! I really want that magical shield, because then we can just avoid... We can block those fireballs. We won't have to worry about them anymore. We're gonna go south from here. Again, avoiding all the rocks. Ah, p hat. Ow! Ow! Okay, that's my fault, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not able to hit the P-Hats right now for some reason. Uh, looking familiar, looking familiar. Run away from them! Yes, this is familiar. Okay, now we go this way. Oh, no. Wrong way. Over here. Okay, that looks better. Ow. You, hey, cool. He died. Yeah. Alright, yeah, here we go. This is what I wanted. Ow. Go away. Go away. Hey, you gave me a heart. Cool. Still can't use the sword beam. You need full health to be able to use that sword beam. Which I'm... Which is fine. It's fine. Cool thing about the sword... Is that... It's stronger. You now need... Less hit to actually damage your enemies. Or to kill them. I, one of those. You guys get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. If not, that's my fault. I'm sorry. And... This looks unfamiliar. Uh, because I'm in the wrong spot. Okay, we need to go over here. Die. Get out of my way. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is familiar. I don't know. Go away. Alright. Over here. One tech tight. Ow. Hey, he gave us a heart. He took a half a heart and we gave us a heart, so... He gave us half a heart. Yes. Okay. You die. Rupee. We're gonna need all these rupees. Okay, nothing from those guys. One rippy out of the whole group. Alright, so let's go over here, down here, over here. And we're back at the start. Okay, from the starting location, head north. Need to, oh, rippy. Ow. Should not have continued walking. <laughs> Fairy! Okay, cool, we're at full health again. Really need a bottle so I can catch those guys. Okay, so then head west for screen. So that was one. This is two. This is three. We're looking for a stump. This should be four. Uh, let's see. Head north and west until you arrive in an area with brown shrubs and a single line of shrubs bisecting the screen. Right here. I think this is it. Locate top shrub of single file line of shrubs in the middle and burn it away. Uh, does that mean this one? Can I only use that once in an area? Is that the deal? Great. Lovely! Oh, here we go. This looks like what he was talking about. Ooh, bombs! Cool, we got six bombs now. Oh, I did that wrong, guys. I did that so wrong. Let's see if we resetting the screen fixes it. So, about right here. Yay! Look at that! <laughs> Ruby Cash! It's a secret to everybody. How many rupees does that give us? That gives us 162! Awesome! Okay. Whoa! That was close. 
Okay, they're dead. And then... To get the shields... We need to go back to the starting location, which is going to be a little difficult. Or not. Let me just pop over here. Oh, I could have gotten some more bombs. Oh, well. Go back to the starting location. We got to go across all of these screens. And we've already gone over our 25 minute mark, but that's okay. I'm going to keep on going. Ow. Keep on going this way. Now, I don't think you can kill the Zolas. That would be awesome if you could, because then they would never bother you again. We're already back down to three hearts. Oh, two and a half now. See if we can kill some guys, get some hearts, or maybe even a fairy. That would be nice. There's a heart. Okay, so four and a half hearts. Or three and a half hearts, sorry. And then I do believe the starting area is over here. Okay, travel east over one screen, and then go north. Till you arrive by a body of water. Okay, so then up. And up. Another heart. And rupees. Lots of rupees. And no rupee there. Okay, body of water. This is what we're looking for. We come over here. And we've already found that secret. So we need to find where the land makes an L shape. Right here. This looks right. Avoid him. Come over here. Burn that. Avoid the fireball. And go down. Look at that! There's the shield for 90 rupees. Isn't that awesome, guys? Look at that. Shield's even bigger. And, yeah. With that shield, you can now deflect fireballs. Yeah, see? We can deflect them. Okay, now, there's one other thing that I want to get, but we're not going to get to it in this episode. I actually probably should cut it here. And we'll start on that in the next episode. The last thing that I want to get is the blue ring. Now, the blue ring is very special because it allows you to cut down the amount of damage that you take from enemies. Isn't that cool? I think that's pretty cool. So, I'm going to kill these guys. I'm going to get one more rupee there. Now, we're going to need a lot of rupees to be able to get that blue ring. It costs a lot, guys. Let me look up just how much it is. It costs 250 rupees. We only have 80. Now, we're going to need to find another rupee cache, and then we're going to have to kill a whole bunch of other uh, a whole bunch of other guys to get more rupees, because the only other way to get rupees very quickly is the gambler's den and I don't really feel like going all the way over there um, but yeah we're good for now I really hope you guys have enjoyed this little kind of it was kind of a grindy session I guess and we didn't get as much done as I had hoped I hoped we'd be able to get all the way to the first boss defeat the first dungeon get the first treasure all that stuff, but we we're preparing. We've got six hearts now. We've got the upgraded sword. We got the upgraded shield. We got the blue candle, which allows us to burn some stuff. We also got six bombs and 80 rupees. So we're off to a good start now. We could probably take on the boss now, especially since we have the shield. We can block his fireballs. And I found out that you have to hit the guy in the head. I was trying to hit his body, and that's not where his damage box is. It's up at his head. So when he goes back in that little corner, he's pretty much like boxing himself in so he can't hit you. So you, you can't hit him. Annoying. Very annoying. Okay, so... Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, please leave a like. Or a thumbs up, whichever it is on YouTube. If you really, really liked it, please subscribe. Either way, leave a comment if you like. And I will see you guys in the next episode. I'll catch you later, guys. This is Elysian Castaic, and I'm out. Later!